Okay, um, on our last video, we talked about the pine cone. Uh, I'm sorry, the pine tree and the needles. And we measured the angle of rotation between each of the needle bunches on this uh, branch. And it came out to 137, or 138.5, actually. So what we found was... We got 137, 138.5 between the first bud oh, or the first needle branch and the next one. And we found that that angle produced uh, Fibonacci numbers in terms of the number of needles in a certain number of rotations. And now what I want to explain is why, what, what is it about this angle? This is called the golden angle. Uh, and the reason is because this angle divides one rotation into a golden ratio. So if we look at this one rotation as 360 degrees, and we call that A, and then we section that into two sections such that the ratio of A to B is equal to the ratio of B to C. That's the golden, that, that's called breaking it into the golden ratio. In that case, the ratio of A to B is equal to about 1.6. That's the golden ratio, 1.618. The ratio of B to C is also the golden ratio. And it turns out that the ratio of A to C, that is the entire to the smaller is the ratio squared because that's just what you get if you multiply these two together the B's cancel out you get A over C that's the ratio squared now if you took 360 degrees and if you if you let A equal 360 degrees and you divided it into a golden ratio you would take 360 and divide it by 1.618, for example. And what would you get? Uh, put it on my calc, on my computer. Where's my calculator? Here it is. Uh, okay, 360 divided by 1.618 equals, that's 222.5 degrees. Okay. Now it turns out that one would be 225 to 22.5. Now what would the other one be? The smaller one. Uh, the smaller one would be, you could get that by just taking 360 and you could just subtract 222.5. That's equal to 137.5. Okay, so when you divide uh, one rotation into a golden ratio, that's breaking up a circle into two angles. One angle is 222.5 degrees. The other angle is 137.5 degrees. Now what we found in that in that pine in this pine branch that the actual angle that we found was 138.5 it was off by one degree but uh, I couldn't I wasn't measuring it accurately to one degree it could very easily be 137.5 um, it's certainly very close to 137.5 and that divides that's what makes the ratio of um, of, of 360 degrees to the 138.5 that's what that made that about 2.6 because that's the uh, y squared and um, that's what make the uh, the number of the number of uh, needles in a certain number of rotations is going to be 
a ratio that's going to be very close to 2.6 because of this. And therefore, the number of uh, needles and the number of turns will be very close to, to uh, non-adjacent Fibonacci numbers. Like in our example, we found that 13 and 5 were very close. That's because the ratio of 13 to 5 is about 2.6. And um, this angle divides it up. Now, the real question is why is it, what is it about bi biology and uh, evolution which, um, which favors, which favors this plant to put out its needles with an angle that just happens to divide the uh, 360 rotation into a golden ratio. What what is what is good about that? Well, one thing that's good about it is if you look down at it, you get all of the needles kind of evenly spaced out. If it was something like 90 degrees, for example, it, well, they wouldn't be evenly spaced out. They'd be um, like a cross that, that start overlapping on each other. And now I'm not saying the golden ratio, this 137.5 is not the, the only angle that would, would do that, but it certainly does a good job at that. Um, and that's really, I think, why some people think that it has been selected preferentially due to evolution. And I think that it, did a good, it does a good job of filling up the space. Filling up the space is important on something like this because that allows it to get more sunlight, more moisture from a cloud that's coming by more air and all that sort of thing. So anyway, that's just an idea of evolution and also the golden angle, 137.5. Okay, that's all.